Hi guys and welcome to my new Nomad playthrough. Uh, it's an interesting one. We've got a couple of mods on the go for this. Uh, I'll run for them very quickly. Let me just... Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so basically what this is, the mod, you start with an RV. There's a couple of settings for it. You can have uh, a bike Nomad, so you start with a motorbike and stuff like that. Um, and a car, like a Jeep Nomad. But we've chosen the RV one um, because it's pretty cool. We get to drive around in an RV. Um, also, I have on RV interiors. So we've got a nice little home here. It's really nice. Let's put life and living on while we're here. Let's just do that. I don't know how the sound travels in here. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, but we're looking good. The settings, uh, sandbox settings I've gone for is apocalypse. No changes. Well, the only change is um, helicopters. Let's see some white chocolate to get our weight up. Helicopters af uh, occur sometimes. So we're not safe from the one helicopter. There's going to be more coming. Um, yeah, the, all the electricity goes off the battery on your car. Uh, off the RV, sorry. So we've actually got quite a good quite a good start, actually. I've got a um, mod as well for cooking recipes, which is spice things. And we've actually done really well. Um we got trapping and cooking, so that's quite interesting. We could potentially leave part of key there. Uh, we start with, I'll go over the traits that we have. So we've got unemployed. There's a, I've added extra trait mod as well, so we can start with knowing how to use generators, which is going to be nice. Hopefully we can connect it. We could do a battery charge, and that'll sort us out really well. Um, we started with uh, vehicle nomad tools. So we start with a lug wrench, tire iron, wrench, and a gas can, which is nice, and also... RV Nomad, which actually makes us start with the RV. Um, so it's really good. Let me just uh, have a quick look, see what we actually have here. Well, we don't need any of that, so let's just clear this out. Um, or any of that, to be honest. Um, we're getting cooking skill. I mean, cooking skill may be handy in this playthrough because we've got the mod um, to give us more recipes. And to exit the RV, you just exit like that. And then just normally. Um, now it looks like we do have some Zeds down here. Uh, we've got a wrench. We're actually going to use that. Uh, so multi it is hot is off because it's apocalypse setting. Looks like we're actually. Oh, we've done bloody well here. All right, let's deal with these. Uh, because multi hits off, I may try and go for uh, a knife build this playthrough. Short blade as they are fast. Uh, and of course, yeah, we're playing as. Uh, Claude Oaks, bit of a retiree, had a bit of a, uh, you know, a little vacation in his RV, got back to, you know, Knox County, and all hell had broken loose, so that's his backstory, uh, I don't know what his end goal is yet, kind of just to survive, I suppose, it's going to be tough with all the helicopters, but, you know, he's, he's, a, he's an old boy, he's got a lot of life experience, so... Ah, there we go. Right, let's, uh, oh yeah, we, we will take all of this, definitely. This was not planned either, we've just been very lucky. So the, the Nomad um, mod will actually um, spawn you in in a random place. We have done really well. We're not going to take the pants, but we're going to take everything else. Uh, and we'll actually leave these zombies a little uh, present. There you go. We don't need that. Uh, and we don't need a t-shirt either, all that. Carbonated water. Okay, that's that's new. That's from the mod. Uh, let's have a look how our how our truck is. Okay, so it's not in the best of conditions. Um, yeah, that's not good. So we're gonna actually have to look at increasing our mechanics skill. We do have amateur mechanics, but it doesn't seem to have any XP boost on that. So. Not too sure if that was just a waste of points, to be honest. Uh, maybe conflicting with the uh, the other mods, but that's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Oh, we had a watch. We want that. Uh, where that? Uh, he's got a chocolate chip cookie as well. We'll uh, we'll have a little munch on that. All right. Okay. Let's. Uh, Let's go on down. Let's see what we've got. Let's put some of this. Let's favourite our screwdriver as we like to do. Uh, let's pop all this in here. 
Yeah, that's okay for now. What is she, does she have anything on her? Uh, some dog tags. Uh, a beret, yeah. We got a bit of a, an army vibe going, so. Uh, anything in here? That's locked. We can smash it, though. It looks like there is fuel in there. That's good. Cigarettes, that's nice. We'll take that. Let's just uh, deal with these before we start. Because, yeah, there's a fence there, so that's fine. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, watch it, mate. Oh. Yeah, we'll take the gum up pants, actually, because... There we go. We are fully uh, militaried up now. Well, we've got a generator, which is really nice. Some says they're trying to break in through there. Uh, we could take a radio, I suppose, but do we really... Do we really need it? I don't think so. Yeah, they're just going to keep smashing there. We can actually get... Oh, this is really nice. This is such a nice start. Oh, look at this. Oh, and I got tactical knife sheaths as well. Uh, which is good. So when we get a knife, it'll actually show up on our leg, which I thought was going to be a nice... Yeah, we'll take the, uh, the army cap. Uh, no, actually, we'll take the beret. Uh, no, we'll wear the helmet. <laughs> what am I doing? Jesus. Um, okay, let's uh, have a smoke then. Oh, MRE, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the M16. It could be a, you know, a firearms playthrough. We've got a vanilla firearms expanded that I've added on. And these are some nice, um, nice finds, actually. We'll take the holster. I think we're going to bring the car down, the RV down here, actually. He's going to get through there sooner or later. Uh, let's run because carpentry's on. But then we don't. Ooh. Oh, hello. We don't really need carpentry. We're, our base is mobile. Water's going to be an issue in a rain collector. We may set up little pit stops and, uh, you know, like in the outback somewhere, little uh, safe havens that we can retreat to. Um, but we'll see. Let's uh, let's jump in the old RV. How do we do this? So you have to get in one of the back seats to go into the back. There we go. Uh, we need to drink our carbonated drink. I mean, we'll take the carpentry because it's there. So, and I don't know how much water this this has. I don't know. Be interesting. Be interesting to see. Uh, let's move all of that into there. Let's have a little tidy up while we're getting the carpentry. Anything in the freezer? Yeah, we got a little bit in there. Uh, we got a little bit in the fridge. Um, we got some more stuff there. Let's just move all of that into the fridge. Just so we know where we're at. What have we got here? Um, okay, well, we like to take our... Let's put our fairly important stuff under the sink. You all know that's where I like to put it. Like garbage bags and things like that. Not a lot of fuel. Um... Alright, let's have a look there. Not a lot of fuel in the uh, gas can. Uh, I do have fast uh, speed demon. Uh, because I think in an RV you're going to want to be able to get as much speed as you can. So I think that's going to be really handy. Alright, let's get this um, fuel from here. I think they said there was fuel in there. So let's have a look. Yeah, so there is. That's good. Whatever we can get, we shall get. Uh, is this open? No. That's fine. Uh, how much fuel do we have? Okay, so that's pretty full. Let's fill this up. Yeah, we probably could have done with taking... Let's take this generator. Let's put it in the RV. Um, yeah, we probably could have done with taking some mechanic skills, but that's fine. We can remove stuff, and you know we know what we're doing when it comes to mechanics. Uh, let's pop this down. 
here there we go lovely look at this let's turn this off um what's in there yeah we got a bit of stuff there let's move that magazine um yeah there's also storage outside 80 i think and like the boot i suppose of the truck uh, of the rv sorry so let's get out Okay, so no fuel in there. Let's smash a window. Go oh, on, get in. Let's get in the front. Anything in the glove box? Nah, adhesive tape. We don't really need that. Looks like the boots are completely wrecked. Oh no. Well, we'll take the duct tape uh, and the tarp, actually. Uh, we just need a knife now. That's up there. Nothing up there that I really want to get involved with, to be honest. Uh, we don't need that beret. Uh, we'll take the magazine, the M16 magazine. So it could be quite a guns heavy playthrough, so. We'll take all of this. 556, nice. Shotgun, I wouldn't mind. Uh, another M16 mag, yep. Yep. MRE. Uh, gas mask, I mean, yeah, we'll wear it. Doesn't really ha add any protection. But it looks cool, so. Ah, hunting knife, okay. Add that to the sheaf. Yeah, that looks really cool, actually, having that there. It's proper nomad. Can we stab through here? No. All right, that's all right. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Uh, we'll take the painkillers. Oh wow! Wow, what a start we've had. It's nothing too crazy. That's why I went with vanilla expanded because we didn't want, you know, all the crazy stuff that Britta adds. Uh, well, this is fine. Uh, it's a hell of a lot of guns we've got, which is good. It's good. With all the helicopters, I think guns are going to be viable. Definitely. Let's go back in and have a little sort out, I think. Uh, right. Got to keep remembering how to uh, how to do this. So you're going to move into a back seat. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's put the guns in, in here, I think. Um, let's put the guns in this one. we got a shotgun, so that's good for... Uh, increasing our aiming. Uh, we got any other guns? Yeah, got a few pistols. We've been so lucky with uh, with this spawn. Let's get the ammo and the attachments in there. Well, I mean, you know, he... What's his name? Claude. Claude Oaks, of course it is. How could I have forgot already? Oh, Claude, you know, he, he's been out... In the RV, maybe doing a bit of hunting. Uh, let's put the duct tape in there. Uh, let's open this, because I think you get a load of stuff, yeah. Yeah, you do get a lot, don't you? <laughs> a load of random stuff, but oh well, go in the fridge. That's fine. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look then. Medical stuff go in there I suppose for now it's nice because we're always going to have our base with us it's really nice actually really nice we can actually get rid of this table uh, at some point uh, sleeping on the sofa but that's fine that's fine you know we ain't got no problems with that we've slept in worse um, on various other playthroughs um, all right yeah so I think I'm guessing I think I know roughly where we are let's have a quick look on the map yeah and then bottom of Louisville um, yeah, maybe we go this way and down through here. I don't really want to go into Louisville yet. Um, where is the boot? I believe it's this side. Okay, so we got a little a few bits in there. Let's put uh, all of our vehicle stuff in there. We can actually get rid of these plastic bags, rubber bands. We'll take the empty bottle. We'll fill that up with water as we go. 
Um, let's favorite that. Let's favorite that. Get rid of our glasses. We've already got a holster. Uh, top can go. Oh, there's actually stuff in these bags. Wow. I never knew that was a thing. I mean, I know you could put stuff in them, but. You must have uh, just been doing some shopping. Let's see some gummy bears. We got a mac and cheese as well, because we did take underweight. I'll go through the stats quick. Uh, our traits, sorry, we got pacifist, hearty appetite, slow healer, smoker, clumsy, conspicuous, slow reader, weak stomach, short sighted, cowardly, prone to illness, liquid blood, generator expert, speed demon, vehicle nomad. Amateur mechanic, I don't think that's actually done anything. So that does look like it's a complete waste of points. But we live and we learn. Cat size, outdoorsman, stout, fast learner, keen hearing, lucky, strong back, RV nomad, athletic, and uh, underweight. So very much uh, like the ones I take normally uh, with a couple of uh, alterations. Nope, we want to go back into the van. Enter yes. Let's get this stuff in the fridge. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to travel light. <clears throat> we're used to uh, traveling quite, uh, you know, having a lot of storage at our bases and things like that. So, And I guess the zombies can't get in here, but... You're not going to be able to get out if they surround you. So I think that's quite balanced. You know, if a helicopter comes, I can't just hide in here. Uh, I wonder if I will be able to stay in there. Um, and it won't notice me. We'll see. We'll have to look into that. We'll have to try it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of them. So, right. Let's have a smoke. Let's have some food. And let's hit the road. We're going to have to base up somewhere just to improve our mechanic skill. Uh, so I guess the first the first order of business is going to be... Um, oh, doesn't look like I'm going down there. Well, there we go. Um, first order of business, I think, is going to be getting the mechanics bug. Because uh, that's going to be uh, essential. Uh, being able to repair the engine on this, to repair the body parts. Now, uh, that's just made me think, actually, hitting that. Is a Nomad playthrough really the best idea for me, constantly in a vehicle uh, with Speed Demon? Probably not. We're probably going to have some, uh, a lot of crashes, a lot of incidents, but I'm feeling confident. Uh, and I may not, you know, I may not even do this as a, a long series. You have to let me know in the comments if, if you want to see more of this. Uh, if you want to see how far we can get, what kind of adventures we can get ourselves in. So we're definitely south of Louisville, that's for sure. Yeah, I suppose the first stop is uh, getting away from Louisville. I suppose we could kind of... I've got the modded maps on as well. We do not want this thing to be breaking down. So there is fuel there, but we can't get in there. Uh, we can have a look here, see what see what we can see. I mean, we can have a look in that store over there, actually. Why not? We're, our base is here. We're, you know, a stone throw away from our base. Uh, we'll take the cookie, we'll eat that. We'll actually take the magazine as well. What if he's says, is that a burnt Zed? Uh, nothing really here. I don't know if I've ever been up one of these. They look like it was a locked door anyway. We don't have anything to get through it. so Can't climb these actually because they're barbed wire, I don't think. Yep, yeah, no, we can't climb them. Okay, well, there you go. It'll be nice to get some food from there. Our oh, weight is gaining. See a peach? Actually, let's drink some milk. Uh, 
another checkpoint. Um, we don't need another generator. Um, because we, if we go to a petrol station, we will just use this one. Um, yeah, so we're a bit trapped in options of which way to go. We can only go one way. I suppose that's the, uh, you know, the counter to uh, spawning by the military checkpoint and having all of these guns. Um, did they have anything in on them? No. I'm sure there'll be some uh, goodies around here. Probably just going to be looking for shotgun shells at the minute. We know of plenty of places. Uh, if I, it is a military backpack I have. No, 2785. 27, okay, so this is actually better. Uh, let's put that in there. Don't really need balaclavas or anything like that, I don't think. Uh, we'll take the... Sh yeah, we'll take all of that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll take all of that. Nope. And yeah, we'll take all of that. Uh, I mean, do we need all of that? Probably not. I mean, we've got loads of shotguns anyway. Alright, what do we have around here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, do we have the emergency broadcast? Yes, we do. Let me write that down. 93.4. Right, okay. We're looking good, though. I mean, we're looking pretty cool. A bit bloody. That, them sheaths mod is really nice. I like that. Forty-five. Yeah, we'll take him. MRE. Yeah, five five six. Yep. Never have enough five five six. Never. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah. I uh, will actually take the double hol holster. Not that I think we'll really ever need a double holster, but we'll take it. Why not? I believe it weighs the same as a normal holster. Yeah, so I think it's going to, you know, it's 20 to 7. Sorry, 20 to 8. So we'll probably stay around here for the night, I think. It's fairly secure um, by the looks of it. So, the RV is a little bit banged up, uh, but it, we will be fine. It'll be fine. I just love being uh, able to go in the back of my... I feel safe back here. Ah, oh, safe. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. We do have a jar lid in there still, but that's fine. Oh, uh, we're set for guns. It looks like it's going to be a gun playthrough. Fine by me. Not a problem at all. We've got plenty of shotguns uh, in case they break. we got our generator nice and early. That's that's really good. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's uh, favorite the alcohol wipes. we got any bandages. we got any bandages. No. Let's favorite them. Favorite them. We've got a peach. We need a peach for hours. We'll put the MREs in there. Um, magazine we'll put in there. You know, I like to be organized. I like to have, have my shit together. So, there we go. Right, well, yeah. There we go. Claude Oaks, the Nomad. I quite enjoyed playing this episode. Quite, uh, it'd be quite interesting to see how far we can get, where we can get to. Let me know if you want to see any more of this. Uh, it could be a one-off just to kind of showcase the model. It can be a series. Let me know. Uh, let me know where you want me to head if you want it to be a series. But um, yeah, and also check out the community server in the description below. Uh, and uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, uh, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.